Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft on the Block. This is the Technic Pack tutorial series, episode 11, I believe, or maybe 12. <laughs> I never know which episode it is. Okay, um, I'm going to actually do a couple of things real quick. Um, one, I'm going to, so, so we're working on a sorting system. We've got a very ugly and rudimentary sorting system going right now, um, which is that we have things teleporting into here from the quarry. They'll get pulled out with the filter um, on whatever tick cycle we have, which is one second right now. They'll get sent through here, and they'll get sorted to a default route of white, which will go over here. Um, or, let's see, that means it's going to send everything to white, which is okay right now. I should probably clear white out then as much as possible and give it some room. Um, this is, like I said, totally temporary, but... Um, it's a good start. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to take dirt, gravel, and cobble and send it in here, and then that's going to pump it out and send it here, which sends it to our um, antimatter relay. So this is just temporary while I go mining because I'm totally out of diamonds and i got to get some chests and i, I got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to go mining, but I want to get the uh, quarry going while I mine because we're low on resources. Resources is our, our big hold up right now. So to get the quarry running, I got to get all my engines running, and before I do that, I wanted to get some fuel running into them. Um, I got fuel in all of them, and they're all going to start with a switch. Um, so actually, this isn't that important, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to make, let's see, how many of these do I need? If I was to, let's see, I need some waterproofing on these for sure. I know I need all three of these. So let's say we come out of here, and then one, two, three. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And I think I got enough for that. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, whoops. Let's go ahead and put those down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And actually, I made a valve pipe as well, so I'm going to need my crafting table and my philosopher's stone. One on each side and a lever. That makes the valve pipe. And then we're actually going to need one more lever, which I have. I'll need to make another one though because I had a plan for that one. So let's put the valve pipe right here, I think. And with the wrench, we need to turn it around so that it flows that way. So the, the closed side is the way it flows to the open side. So it should flow out of there to the open side when I apply power to it, like that. And I must be wrong about this. <laughs> I was trying to think how this works. Do I have to have it attached to a certain type of pipe? Let's see. Well, in fact, it looks like I had the right type of pipe to start with, if anything. Oh, and I know it can't actually be on a on a bend. Let's try this real quick. Well, in that case, it seems like it was in the right place. Let's try... So it doesn't connect to wood which means we had the right idea to start with, although maybe it needs a different type. Now I thought... Hmm. See, we have a valve pipe here connecting our oil into this, and it definitely works. And then we have a valve pipe there bringing oil out. I would think that would work. But apparently I'd be wrong. So you can place this on there like that. Um, well, let's do this then. I'm going to say that the reason is it has to be directly connected to that. That seems reasonable. That won't work. It should go there and there. And now... I don't like the look of this when you place it right on the block, but it's, there we go. So we have to be connected directly to the tank, and then that should fill these all the way up. So it's going to start 
pouring through here and we'll go ahead and turn these guys on and that's going to start pushing power and the only thing pulling well actually nothing is going to pull power right now so let's see we're okay with fuel right now i just wanted to get that set up we don't really care about getting that all the way full for the time being so let's go over here i do need to make one more thing which i don't even think i have a stick on me so let me run in and get that all right guys i went and got a lever and i also taught my crafting table or my uh, transmutation table lever just in case and let's dump some of this off because we're going to go straight from oh I had a stick <laughs> excellent all right, let's get rid of some actually let's put this if possible in the other chest nope no room so we'll put this stuff in here i'm only going to take with me what i really need and these two we're going to use right now. Don't need the paintbrush. Um, I don't really even need the wrench. Although, just in case, I'm going to take that. All right, let's go over here. So, while we're mining, we want this thing to be running. And it's not running because it's not receiving a redstone signal. And that's because what we want to do first is start pumping stuff out of it. So I'm going to put that there, that there, turn it on. That's going to start pumping all of this junk out, and it's going to go through the item teleport pipe, and it will get faster as time goes. Um, again, this is not a pretty way to go about this. It's just my initial solution. So that is pumping stuff out. Again, it's going to take a little while. What would be better um, is if we were pumping stacks out, which is probably what we should do. We should probably hook up a filter to this and pump stacks instead of, um, instead of these. But the problem with that is getting them hooked up to an item teleport pipe. I think I have to go, well, we'll have to work on that. Anyway, the point being, that will be okay because the, the once it gets rolling, it's gonna keep up basically with the, uh, so you can see it's putting the stuff in here and I already had a little bit in here, so it's going really slowly. It'll keep up more or less with the quarry once it gets rolling. So I'm gonna turn this on and every second it's gonna pull a stack, which will definitely keep this thing cleared. You can see that it's making all of that blue and then those are getting put in here and pulled out one piece at a time and sent across into our, uh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, so see, it's basically just taking, every time it gets a single piece, it's just going to send it along. So that's going to work like this. And our bat box is keeping us powered because we have a solar panel up there, but it fills up pretty quick. So I think this thing is going to stay powered pretty well. And this stuff is working. So anyway, that that is working slowly but surely. And then that means that if we go look over here, you can see it's pulling stuff out of here really slowly. In fact, so slowly I almost can't tell where it's pulling it from. They're right there. You can see 44, 43. So if I turn this on, let's just see where we're at. So we want to switch can receive to true. That's going to get that thing running. Now it's down there. It's going to go over to the corner and take care of that junk that the Enderman put on there. And really what we need to see, since this thing has three engines running it, it's going to be really fast. So it's going to it's going to blaze along pretty good. It's going to come all the way back over here and get that piece of dirt. And then we'll see how it runs and if it can keep up. Once that thing gets running, once it gets up to a higher speed, because now it's blue, once it gets up to the uh, red and yellow flashing stage, I think it will be able to keep up with the, basically with how quickly this thing pulls items, because it's going to go one, two, three, I mean you can see look how fast that thing's whipping along. Three, four, yeah that's way too slow. <laughs> so yeah it's filling up way faster than it's pulling out, that's going to be a problem. So let's switch it off, actually you know what let's do, let's just pull a bunch of this out, we'll go stick it in the sorter and that will probably give it time to catch up and then when I come back from mining we'll be able to s tell whether or not we were right. I think once, like I said, once that engine gets gets to this point I think that'll be fast enough. So let's go ahead and stick all of this cobble in here. And like I said, we're definitely going to make a better system. You're gonna have to trust me on that. I know this is not ideal. In fact, let's take a little cobble. Nah, we're not gonna even need any. So there we go. So now you can see it's just cranking along plowing stuff through, sending stacks at a time into here, and then that's just pulling out one at a time, but it's pulling a pretty steady stream. So the question will be, huh, 
I think it's okay. I think the system will keep up. I think this is just about right, actually. So once things get going, hey, buddy. Once things get going, I think this will be just about perfect. Yeah, this is just barely keeping up. So let's go see how the quarry's doing, and then I'll go do some mining, and then we'll come back and do a better job on the system. But it's blazing along, and filling things back up pretty quick, but that's all right. We'll check on it here in just a few minutes. Once I get done mining, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and I have done a fair amount of mining. I've actually been up three times. The first two times down, I didn't find any diamonds. Um, or really anything useful at all and the second time down um, I ended up digging a new mine because that original mine was basically turning into a lava pit but this last time um, so the second the second time I basically dug all the way down to layer 10 and then just started doing my normal kind of mining technique with the destruction catalyst and then using the dividing rod and this time I found an equal amount of tungsten and diamonds I thought that was interesting so this is worth 20 diamonds so um, I'm probably going to utilize most of that to make diamonds and found a bunch of other stuff. I actually put some other stuff in other chests. I, I got a fair, fairly good haul, but I wanted to show you my system is totally backed up. So you can see that these things um, will start actually bouncing around um, once they get to a point where they don't have anywhere to go. So this chest is full. So they're just bouncing around. Things are being pulled out of this chest and sent into the system, um, but it actually won't pull anything when there's already a backup and there's no place to go. So, because the default route would be white, anything in here that would normally get pulled, like this stuff, would go into the default route, but this is all going to start getting backed up, and in fact, this will probably end up getting too full here before too long, because it's going to, um, this is going to be blocked for a while until this thing can empty out, and all of the things that are in this tube, which actually right now, I guess it's not that much, but basically this thing is able to feed them about as fast as the uh, relay is able to consume them so if we were to go look at our relay which we'll do because we're going over there anyway um, I actually turned off the quarry as well I turned everything off for right now I've got as much fuel as I want I've got um, as much of this stuff as I can handle this is actually almost empty now because this system has been pulling it out I think yeah so that will be empty and ready to go pretty soon um, but we're doing okay now on, well, decent on resources. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do is, is a couple of things. I'm not going to make you watch the whole process. I was going to basically show this. So I filled this thing up, and at one point there was 64 of everything, So it, and I've been gone for quite a while, so it basically almost um, does just a one-to-one -one on this thing, but you can see it's, getting, it's keeping a little bit ahead of how quickly they're coming in through this teleport pipe. So anyway, we're, we're doing pretty good. We got 68,000 EMC in here. Um, we can make a Klein star pretty quick that will, let's go ahead and pull that out. We can make a, what is it doing? Oh, the overflow is going in here. That's what's happening. That's funny. Interesting. So it's actually coming in faster than it can be consumed, I think. So I'm going to take that dirt out and put just this in there. Anyway, so yeah, it's, it's a mess right now. That's <laughs> basically what I'm saying. So I'm going to dump this stuff in there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to do something. We'll get a Klein star so that we can suck some of this juice out. Although I think a Klein star only holds 50,000. So we're going to want to update this to a Mark II relay pretty soon. And let's see, that's going to take, oops. You can see a lot of stuff's going on in Millinaire. We're going to need to get to that before too long. A piece of dark matter, our antimatter relay, and some obsidian. So really the dark matter is the only thing that we're going to have trouble with. We've got the Eternalist fuel and we'll have the block of diamonds. So we can do that soon, but um, I've got bigger fish to fry right now. I've got um, organizational issues in general and I want to take care of that. So we're going to do two things. We have inventory issues all the time and especially when we're going to try to be cleaning this stuff up, we're going to have them. So we're going to make a, um, a couple of um, alchemy, alchemical bags, or maybe one alchemical bag to start with, and quite a few alchemical chests. And I'm going to show you how to make the chest, and then I'll make a bag, and then I'll go offline and make the rest of the chest, because I've got, like I said, I've got some work to do. So I'm going to throw these in here. Um, I've got 10 right now. Well, I'm just going to start with the 10 that I've got, and we'll see where that gets us. Okay, so if we want, let's see what we need. Oops. A chemical chest. We need all of the different covalence dust, a diamond, a chest, and iron ingots. Now we have taught 
our let's go ahead and just throw a piece of tungsten in here so we can use it we've taught this thing chest before what is something that's equivalent to chest oh we can we teach this wrench no we can't what about a piece of steak there we go if you get something that's in the same range as what you're looking for as far as the emc value it'll help kind of filter this system down so we're going to grab a few chests because i'm going to need a few of those anyway so i'll grab 15 chests. We'll probably make at least 15 alchemical chests. And you can see that it actually sucked our piece of tungsten ore into here, and now we've got a, uh, a, a surplus of 15,000, which is good. We could grab a, a diamond and a bunch of other stuff out of there if we wanted to, um, which we might come back and do. So I don't think I can teach this thing about covalence dust. Oh, I can. Let's go ahead and do that then, because that's something we're going to want to have in the future. I guess we should be able to, because it's a equivalent exchange thing so I think yeah now we've got all those that is excellent good news okay all right now let's get our I really wish you could overlay the recipe in here so it's green to blue diamond do I have stone yeah I do okay so green let's see let's make two of them to start with green to blue diamond um, chest. I already forget what goes at the bottom. Is it iron? It is iron. Got lucky. All right, so we're going to need two of these. Okay, so we can take one, two alchemical chests. Okay, let's get ourselves oops, a little bit more stone and a little bit more glass. That's good enough. And some more stone. There's our 18 minute mark, so we're gonna... This one's gonna be relatively short, this episode. I'm not gonna drag you guys too much further into it. Okay, and now in our chemical bag, all we need is a chest, the, co uh, the top level of covalence dust, and some wool. And we have the ability to get wool out of here, so... I'll just get a bunch of this because we'll need some. I'm going to make a bunch of chests. And shift clicking doesn't actually do anything except for put it directly into my... What does alt clicking do? It doesn't work either. All right, well, that's good enough. Okay. And that's enough wool for now. So let's do three up there. Some wool. This is going to give us a white bag, and then we can actually dye that if we wanted to with other things. I like to usually get a black and a, and a yellow bag and just, I don't know, play around with it. Okay, anyway, now we've got an alchemical bag. This is very cool because we can open it up and look how much storage we have. So we can start dumping stuff into this alchemical bag and we just don't have to worry about it. Um, that will be really helpful when we're trying to clean all of our junk up. And it's probably just, it's also really helpful just in general for the way that I work because I like to keep a lot of junk on me. So um, that will be very helpful. And the alchemical chest actually has the same properties except that it sits on the ground and it's not coming with you. Um, and also, um, I better put this thing, charge up a little bit. Um, also, it will stack next to each other. So you can stack chests next, right next to each other, just one after another, which is actually almost the biggest thing because with a double chest, you can stack two together, but then you have to leave a space before you put the next chest, which I think is just kind of strange and a flaw, but it kind of helps with storage, you know, making it so you can't just spam a bunch of chests in a room, I guess, although I think you should be able to. So anyway, I can put an alchemical chest one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we actually have, if we go look over here, I'm going to come back and I'll finish making those chests in a minute. But if we go look over here, we'll see that we can put probably, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, this is, this whole thing is going to be different because this is not going to be here. At least it's not going to be working the same way. We'll probably use provider and requester pipes um, to, to basically kick stuff into here. Um, the way a requester pipe works, um, let's just take a look and see what it takes to create one. A requester pipe, these are part of the logistics pipe stuff. And we need gold gears and basic logistic pipes, which takes diamond pipe and some gold gears. So these are expensive suckers, but um, they're worth it. So we'll use some legit requester pipes and then provider pipes. What do they take? We might make some this time since we've got all that tungsten. 
whoops, man, there we go. Provider pipes. That's just glowstone and a basic logistic pipe. So basically what you can do is you can take a provider pipe, put it on the back of a chest. Actually, just put it anywhere in the network. Is that right? No, you have to put it on the back of a chest, on the back of something with an inventory, or anywhere attached to something with an inventory. And then um, you provide it into the system somehow. So, so you'll put logistic pipes um, that... Um, that will provide into the network and then the network will zoom stuff around right and then um, you can you can attach um, teleport pipes as well um, and I'm gonna have to figure out how all that works anyway the point is that you have a, a requester pipe which we will put over on the relay and we'll put it on there and we'll say make sure you keep 36 of these stocked and you can ask for partial requests and that'll basically allow it to just ask for for from the system for something with um, cobblestone or whatever it is we decide we want to run through there which is cobblestone is probably what we'll run because that's what we'll have the most of and that way we can have a chest that just is full of cobblestone and the requester pipe will just keep pulling that stuff out um, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work on planning it and seeing how it goes but this is not empty and it's not pulling anything let me think about why is that would that mean that this is full this is not full I'm trying to figure out oh there we go it is pulling stuff it's because this one's still yeah it just wasn't done yet so you can see that white one is going to go up there there was just something weird it was kind of stuck it seems like but anyway it's going to filter this stuff over here you can see this chest is getting full of the stuff it's supposed to be getting full of and this chest is almost done that means that our system is basically clean except that we need this thing to get sucked out and and run over there so let me do this um actually while we're oh no okay that was close sorry had to concentrate all right we'll take care of this guy with the gold sword and that'll <laughs> make things better okay let's see what else we got roaming around here this guy he'll light us on fire if he gets a ch actually not fire i'm not sure what this guy does he just hits hard but he's a wuss okay you guys done messing with me? I should mention that I made myself a fresh set of armor before I went mining last time because my other stuff was getting pretty beat up. Okay, let's do this. Um, the one other thing that would be interesting before we end this episode and I make the rest of my chess... Uh, I should probably throw a couple pieces of Coleman generator. This is why we kept the generator around so that we could do stuff just like this. That thing's going to be sucking it out and put it in there. Let's see. Everything else is running pretty smoothly. I've got a fair amount of this dust that needs to be smelted down. And now we can start sticking stuff in our alchemy bag because we got so much junk out of us. But let's do this first. This is probably our next step. Um, a Klein Star. Oh man, I cannot hit my keys. Klein Star. We're going to take a Klein Star iron. Now these have been totally nerfed down. They used to be um, that the iron could take like a million EMC or whatever it is. Um, and, and these were just not even useful. Now it takes four of these to create one of the second level ones. It, ha it can hold 200,000. These can each hold 150,000. So you basically need to, to craft up to the, to the next level now. Um, so that was going to take Mobius fuel. Is that right? Yeah, so we need eight Mobius fuel, and I've only got five. So that's okay. I think we should be able to... It's learned that, and now we can target Mobius fuel, except for how much... Maybe we can't target Mobius fuel. I thought we could. We must not have enough. Let's see... Well, what we can do is take a piece of redstone and target Mobius fuel. Let's see how fast that works. That's not going to work very fast. That's not what we want to do. Let's see. Let me... I know I have... Let's do this. I know I have Eternalist fuel back here. I've seen this happen before. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm pretty sure... Let's grab a piece of a... Actually, let's just grab it all. We'll put it in our bag if we need to. 
And at some point we'll get a gem of eternal density, which will allow us to basically do the condensing, energy condensing, in a alchemical ch bag. Uh, okay, so let's see this. Um, let's teach it that we did. Why can't I... Why can't I target that? Hmm. I thought I could make Mobius fuel. I can't even use that, because that's a fuel, so you can't use that. And I don't have enough of that. Alright, I'm not sure why this is happening. Let me go figure out. I thought for sure I could make Mobius fuel out of Eternalist fuel. Actually, maybe it's a crafting recipe. You know what I'll bet you have to do? You have to put... No? <laughs> it used to be this kind of thing. Maybe charge it up? Let's see. I if we charge that thing up. Sorry about this, guys. Just trying to figure out... I thought there was a crafting recipe to get... Eternalist or Mobius fuel. Oh, there we go. So it's just one with a philosopher stone. Yeah, you have to have the philosopher stone in there. There we go. Okay. So one, and it takes all of the power. Okay. So this is kind of a. That's one of the powers of the philosopher stone. Anyway, so we used one of our Eternalist fuel. Now we got the. Okay. So now a diamond and that gets us a Klein star. There we go. Now we can take the Klein star. We can throw it in here like that. And you can see that it's pulling EMC out and storing it in there. We'll let that charge for a second. Actually, before we go, before I let you go, I want to show you this. You can actually teach your table a uh, star, which actually is not... Let's see, what does it take? Oh, and it sucked the EMC out of there, actually. So the EMC that we had stored up. And so this thing can be used for... Um, let's see, let's get this thing uncharged, discharged. <laughs> Take this stuff off of our table for now. Um, that can be used to power things that we have, um, like the Destruction Catalyst or the Philosopher Stone, and eventually the uh, Mercurial Eye, which is very cool. Um, so anyway, let me do this. I think this is probably a good point to stop. This would be one of the first times that I actually was reasonable in my uh, <laughs> in my video time. So we've got our client stars charged up. It's going to have about 50,000 EMC in it. Um, we're going to pull that out, and now we can use it for all kinds of stuff, but one of the things we can use it for is a battery, so we can just pull out diamonds, or now we can get Mobius fuel, which I wish I still wish I knew how much that was worth. Let's see. This will tell us. Oh, there we go. See, something weird happens. This has happened to me before. You have to kind of get this thing reset, but Mobius fuel is worth 2048 so it's basically a piece of gold. And this is worth 8192, so it's a piece of diamond. So we can now use these to um, to do different things. I mean, we can use them for fuel and for crafting, but we can also construct them now like this, so we can get diamond and Mobius fuel. So anyway, we are doing good. We are headed in the right direction. I'm going to create a a fair amount more chess. Probably get at least 10 chess to start with, um, and some signs, and I'll start organizing things. I'll think about how, where I want everything to go. This is something I always end up having trouble with and kind of organize that room because another thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we can pull um, that we can pull items out from behind the chest so I might maybe merge have that little hallway in between the buildings. I might merge that and put tubes back there and stuff. So anyway, we're going to have to do some planning, but I want to make sure I get prepared for that so I don't bore you guys to death. And then we'll come back next time and we'll start getting our, our crafty or our uh, automatic sorting area really worked out. Um, and then we'll turn our quarry back on and let that thing rip and move on to kind of our next stage, which will be some auto crafting. And then we'll we'll start doing some really cool stuff with uh, forestry and I might even start getting into millinaire a little bit. We'll we'll take a, a quick detour and go do some millinaire and some beekeeping and some of the fun stuff that just takes your mind off the everyday grind. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, thumbs up if you liked it. Please leave comments. I read them all. Um, I really want your feedback on this series. Um, it, it'll be interesting to see at this point. Um, by the time you've actually... Um, I've recorded this. I've posted a couple of the videos and I got mixed response. Um, I got a couple hundred views on the first one, which is pretty average for my videos. Um, it 
th- it, that's that's kind of in the middle somewhere so it's not really taking off like crazy but we'll see um hopefully by the time we get here you guys will have given me feedback and we will have some additional changes so anyway i really appreciate it thumbs up if you liked it tell your friends check me out on twitter minecraft otb that's where all the interesting stuff happens um as far as conversations that and the comments which i read and and respond to so thank you guys again and i'll talk to you soon